on December 10th, 2019, Minecraft PS4 edition updated to Bedrock. And that was exactly when I started a survival world. A world I'm still playing on to this day. And I'm here to show you what I managed to do in about 450 hours of playtime. About 8 months ago, I spawned right here, near a village, on a plains. So I walked through the plains by him, I came across a village, I looted it, and at some point I came across a big ocean. So I grabbed my boat, and I rode until I saw a place that would look cool to settle in. And I chose to make my base in the forest you see right here. And as the sun set, I decided to settle down right here, just in between two villages. And the first thing I made was this farming area. It has every plant in here and a few animals as well. There used to be bees here too, but they all died due to the berry bushes. So I got my tent, got cows, I got chickens, got wheat, carrots. Uh, beetroot, melons, pumpkins, potatoes, sugarcane, bamboo, everything you would need. But of course Minecraft isn't all about farming, you also need a mine. So I made a little pathway that went to a hill where I was able to make a mine. Just like this. And if we go down, you can see that I mined a fair amount. But at this point I was really running out of storage, so I decided to make a big tower with all of my chests. I also have a stable to the side. There once used to be a horse here, but with the nether update it just disappeared. Anyways, if we now go inside, then you will see that every layer has a theme. So this layer is nether themed. It has my nether portal and it has all of the nether stuff. If you go down here, this is where my nether ward farm is, but also all of my furnaces. All of these are filled with about a stack of coal blocks, of course, this super smelter or automatic smelter or whatever you would call it. It has some more. If you go up to the next layer, this is where my witches are. So I don't have a lot of coal in here because of course they're all in the furnaces down below. This is my iron. And I did a lot of end trading. My redstone, lapis, gold, and diamond. Again, I did a lot of end trading, so that's how I got all of that. If go up even more, this is where I get my wood and saplings. fourth layer has all of the mob drops, so I've been farming a lot of cows and chickens back there. And I think you can see that I have been playing this a decent amount of time. That was embarrassing, this one is empty. <laughs> the next layer has all of the, I guess, valuable things. So things like horse armor, saddles, leads. I swear I didn't craft a single lead in this whole entire game. These are all from Wandering Traders. Got these things as well. Again, I did a lot of end trading. I have a lot of end rods and some armor. Pick up go up one more. This is some general farming stuff, some plant life 
and even more farming. Now this is the last layer with chests. So a project I did on this world was making a giant hole down to bedrock. That's how I got all of that stone. And also, I guess that explains why I have why I've, I have been end trading so much. And the last layer used to be just my enchanting table, but now it has grown to my trophy room. So, first time I killed a weirdo skeleton, my first nether star, netherite block, and a dragon egg. All the cool stuff. Also, I get big step. And I have been keeping track of my deaths, and I've died 38 times. That's not a lot. And over here, I got some enchanted books, and whoops, and some armor as well, so I can use grindstone and get me some quick levels. Right here, I also have even more end trading stuff. And that was it for the tower. If we go down to the balcony, I got a fox here. There is actually a little tower here. And that is where I have all of the maps. So this is the map of this area. Now we are right here. That was the tower right there. This is the farming area, the docks with the mine entrance. Uh, I guess I need to update these for the pathways. Um, so these are some of the projects I will be showing you. This is my guardian farm. This is a little village and about 60 pokeballs. This is my trading hall. This is a giant mob arena and with this project I made a warp forest in the overworld. Uh, I think that's my, my raid farm. It's not really a farm, it's just a village with a wall. And this is the hole I was talking about. About 100 blocks in diameter down to bedrock. Now let's actually show you these. So at this point I had farms, I have a mine and I got storage. But one thing I didn't have was good armor. So what I did is we fly over here. I made a villager breeder. I fortified it a little so I can also use it to fight some raids. So these are the main guys down here. And these are farmers which I can trade carrots with. Now, what are you gonna do with villagers? Of course you want to make a trading hall to get some books so I can get max enchanted armor. And that is exactly what I did here. I made a giant carrot field, uh, sugarcane farm, melons, and I can trade all of these with librarians and with farmers. So if we actually go up here also that's my jelly right there. You know, cutie. If we go up here, you can see I have, I think there's are 10 villagers. So that is my mending one right there. But yeah, I got, I got some stuff here and it is quite laggy. At this point I had fully enchanted diamond armor. I had everything I would ever need and I decided to fight the Ender Dragon. So what I did is I flew all the way here to the second village. And right at the back of the village, behind this tree, I have a ladder that goes down to the end portal. And this stronghold is actually pretty cool. Because if I break this block, I'm actually at Y level 2. So that's really low. Anyways, I went to the end and there is a lot of lag. Wow. Oh. 
Okay. Can I get through? Hello? Oh, I'm here. Perfect. So, I fought the Ender Dragon. I got my first... Oh, God. Anyways, I fought the Ender Dragon. I got my first... Uh, what is that? An end portal unlocked? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mined another... I mined a full tower. I was like, why is that? Why is there bedrock there? Oh, for goodness sake. Let me get out of here. Oh, I spawned up here. Well, that's, that's actually perfect because this was the next location I wanted to show you. And I fell right off. Um, so basically, I had an elytra now. So I needed gunpowder. So I made this, this creepy farm that never actually worked and it's still broken. This is an ice farm. But yeah, my creeper farm, I built this, it never worked because it was a bug where they couldn't spawn under trapdoors anymore. So this is actually where I spawned. This is my spawn place. That's also why I didn't look behind me when I when I went here in the beginning of the video. So I went like this to the village and over in that direction. So at this point I had everything I would ever need. I had fully enchanted tools, fully enchanted armor. But there was one problem. I didn't have a way to mend it. So I made another farm by Silent Whisperer. And the problem with this farm is it crashes my game. <laughs> so see we got five rows. I only use two because Otherwise it crashes every second. Uh, but that's just my PlayStation. And I got a sign here because a lot of times I forgot to put on my armor again. So anyways, if we go back, I can actually, oh God. I can actually show you the next area. If we go this way, this is uh, the tower, the home base, you could say. We can now go to the arena. It is a mob arena that I have built. It was a huge project. Oh, that's way too close. So this is what it looks like if you come out of the nether portal. So I guess this was supposed to be a gladiator arena. So they got their armor here. That's where they sleep. And the same on the other side. And it's actually getting nighttime. So that's perfect. So this is the arena. Um, yeah, so we got seats everywhere for imaginary friends, uh, pathways here have a lot of detail, I spent a lot of time farming red wool for this one. Over here, another imaginary friend can sit and watch, watch you fight. And I actually am out of gunpowder, so I would love to have some more. I'm not having a lot of luck here. Two zombies and, and three skeletons. Is that it? Real in Minecraft? Oh great, another zombie. I need creepers, come on. Now that was very unsuccessful. I only got seven gunpowder. Oh god, there's a blaze in my boat. <laughs> Screw that. I'm getting another one. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go to my rape farm next. I made a village fully surrounded by a big wall. And you can go, you can go on top of the wall. Or inside. Uh, we got a resistance to beacon. Wow, there's a lot of lag. Yeah, so there's resistance too right there. The villagers are safe in their houses. This is where I got all of the totems of undying from. Now over here, this direction, I actually tried to cover a whole biome with melons. Don't ask me why, I just wanted to do it. But it, it took a lot of time and at some point I... I just didn't want to farm any melons anymore. I was I was done. So yeah, I stopped with this project. I got a decent amount done. 
And I think there's still, yep, there's still some in here. Yeah, I guess I can show you this one. So, I also have a mining desert. That was very loud. So, this is where I just found a huge desert with a village here. There's another village right there with a pillager tower right next to it, so they get attacked all the time. This is where I get my sand from. It's quite big. You'll see why I needed all of this sand in a minute. So yeah, I mined out all of this. Huh. The blaze despawned. Anyways, yeah, so this is the hole, so... I spent about a month grinding. <laughs> so this is the range of a Phil Hates 2 beacon. It's it's quite big. Very big. <laughs> so yeah of course for to take out this big of an area I needed a few pickaxes. So Got all of that. At home I have another shulker box filled with pickaxes and shovels. Oh and I guess I didn't show you this, so got my redstone box, firework box, sand. Uh this is for when I go mining. Why is it raining? Anyways, yeah, this is my valuable stuff. So I guess this is like backup gear. At home I also have a full a uh, full shulker box full of other backup gear. Of course the backup gear is not netherite. So if I die I can just equip equip this. And I'm actually gonna take this with me because I wanna fly through the rain. So that was a toolbox. Uh, I also have a box like this so if I want to set up camp somewhere I can make a, f a full beacon. Or if I'm stuck in the nether, I can use obsidian to make a portal, also fire resistance, and some other things. If I ever run out of food, I can get more with this one. If I pick up any mob drops, I can put it in here. Any stone, diorite, granite, andesite, gravel, good wool, scaffolding, box of arrows and some wood so anyways <laughs> I was getting distracted there yeah so this is this is the hole and one pickaxe was harmed in the making of this hole I only broke one of them and I'm proud of that we anyways look at this <laughs> whoa We Oh my goodness, I'm so high up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having way too much fun with this trident. So this was the hole. This is where I got all of my diamonds from. Um, this is where I got all of the coal from. Basically everything, all of the stone. The first 20 or so layers were fun. And then I discovered that about this area and this area are slime chunks. Slime started attacking me constantly, so that's why I have a lot of of slime blocks. And also there were there was a huge mine shaft going through this thing. So yeah, it was irritating, but I stuck with it and now I have a big hole. And it serves no purpose whatsoever. <gasps> There's a creeper here. Anyway, so yeah, behind me is the sheep farm. <gasps> yes. Um, we'll go do that in a second. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I... There's not really much to show here besides I have a sheep farm. So yeah, I have a sheep farm. Uh, just so you know. I also have... Hey! Oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Get wrecked. What's happening? Okay, that was some crazy lag. Anyways, yeah, so occasionally I come here and get some wool. S just so I also 
always have a little bit of a little bit of wool I can use in some builds. All right, so at this point the Nether update came out, and I got myself if my inventory will load. I got myself all of the netherite I would ever want. And I also did a little project right here. So basically I made a warped forest inside the overworld. And right in the middle we have a little house. Anyways. Oh okay, didn't go out. Perfect. So this is like an enclosed area, it's a full circle, this, w this is uh, a little bit of where I needed to send for. So I think this place looks so cool. I would not, I mean, it looks better at night, but it's, you do not want to be here at night. I just love the atmosphere here, I think it's awesome. Look at that. That looks amazing. Anyways, there's one last thing I want to show you. And that is a little village I've made. So get some houses, some farms. I was just I was just bored. I didn't know what to do. Oh uh also that thing, yeah, but mostly th this village. <laughs> no, just kidding, of course. Uh, this was a project that I finished two days ago. Basically, what I did is I made every single Pokeball. I mean, I say every single, but most of them are here. So I also have a book here. So page one is all of these Pokeballs. So Pokeball, Captain's Ball, Moon Ball, Net Ball. Uh, whatever that ball is and Team Rocket Ball and for example the fifth one one two three four five is a Pikachu Ball, Master Ball, Quick Ball Fast Ball wait these these two are switched this is Team Plasma Ball, I don't know what that one is anyways yeah I made all of the Pokeballs and it was a grind to get this finished on time I'm pretty sure that this video is a, is delayed by one day, but it could have been way worse. Oh, um, I just spotted that. <laughs> I thought I deleted all the scaffolding. Apparently not. Let's just ignore that. Anyways, this is where I needed most of concrete for because all of these are made with concrete and of course the shiny ones like the heal ball the dream ball uh, I'm pretty sure there's a crystal ball as well yep there it is and the transparent ball they have glass as well as whatever that one is called it's the pastor ball and it goes pretty high up Do you think I would be able to make this? Yeah, I can. I've been doing this for so long. See? I'm a pro. Oh, it's getting night time. Alright, let me just MLG. Huh. Huh. That is... embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, come on. I always make it. And now I didn't. It was because of my elytra. I was flying and then I stopped flying. And then I don't know. Ah, just embarrassing. Ah. Now I've got to change my sign to... I think it's 39 now. Back in my base. Let's get all of it back. Um, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. I have pretty solid layout, as you can see. Yeah, I that was that was too embarrassing. I'm gonna make it again, 
and you're gonna look at me and say I'm an MLG God. But let me prove to you that I am an absolute MLG God. Yeah. Anyways, that was all of the Pokeball stuff. Um, I think there's only one more thing to do. And that one thing is changing this sign to 39 deaths. I was proud of my 38. Now it's 39. Anyways, that was it for this world tour. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope I give you some inspiration for your own survival world. And while this fox is freaking out, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of my content, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.